many infectious diseases, they require care by a doctor, and we have a list of these diseases. If you can take us through these, Dr. Baker, um, starting with, and if there's any, of course, that you want to add as well, that's some, often that you see, that'd be, uh, that'd be great, starting with E. coli. So um, E. coli can cause a variety of infections, and there's actually a lot of different types of E. coli out there. So there's E. coli that people may get from contaminated food products, mm -hmm. but then there's also E. coli that can cause urinary tract infections that's actually from E. coli that we already carry in our own body. Okay. Now, mono. When we hear mono, the kissing disease. Okay, why is it called the kissing disease? So it's called the kissing disease because it can be easily passed uh, through secretions, through okay. oral secretions. And frequently we see mono in teenagers and young adults in their 20s. Mm -hmm. um, and it got the name kissing disease just because it can be passed that way. Growing up when I was going to elementary school, the teacher would say, don't drink so close to the water fountain, you'll get mono. Is that true? <laughs> I think that infrequently happens. I think usually when someone gets mono, they're getting it directly from another person. Okay. Now, it's, we are in peak flu and cold season. So the flu's on here. Is this a very common one? Absolutely. Influenza is uh, certainly a concern for people of all ages. Um, it's easily transmissible. And actually in South Florida, right. the flu is a concern 12 months a year. Absolutely. And, and to, um, elaborate on that. Can we talk about the flu shot? Obviously, these are both for kids and adults. How important is it to get your flu shot? Because I think there's that misconception. People think like, well, I'm still, I'm still getting sick, but that doesn't, a flu, isn't, a flu shot isn't going to make you not get the flu. Abs well, so the flu shot really only protects you from getting influenza. So it doesn't protect you from getting what we call the common cold. Okay. And the flu shot does not give you the flu, um, as is a huge misconception. But um, sometimes people can have a little bit of an immune reaction with some aches or low-grade fever after that usually lasts for less than 24 hours. Okay, now let's go move on to the last three, meningitis, pneumonia, mm -hmm. and shingles. So meningitis can be caused by both bacteria and by viruses. Um, it can be very um, concerning when it happens, um, but it really is... Um, can present with a wide range of symptoms and signs.